All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, just had a 2.6 gigabyte update for Armory Forger Experimental, meaning this will be coming out in two to four weeks on the main branch. Loads of changes, loads of fixes, and uh, a few extra add-ons as well, which we'll be going into game and testing. So, attention soldiers, they've updated the controls. They've added some stuff like enable or disable default free looking aircraft, which is pretty good. We've added a toggle for long range radio. And for the gamepad, I'm mouse and keyboard, so this doesn't really matter to me, but um, I'll put a link in description. And if you want to have a look at all these inventory changes, game changes, item changes, grenade changes, like everything that they've done here, go ahead. But it looks like you can have a lot more options on gamepad. Players are now able to disassemble enemy structures in conflict. As long as you're capturing the base they belong to, you can uh, start disassembling enemy structures. In conflict, FIA supply caches now replenish their storages much quicker. Load of fixes. Added an inventory slot for carried objects. The ability for explosions to pass through surfaces depending on material as well. That's pretty cool. Fixed all of this. I'm not going to read it all out to you because that will be boring, but just know there's a ton of fixes. Change some stuff. Heavy explosives like AT mines deliver significantly more damage. They've increased the force which players push and pull flipped vehicles to make it easier. We'll, we'll be testing some of this on game in a minute. Made it easier to repair and fuel helicopters on the landing pads. Tweaked a load of bits. Lots of stability and performance. We love this. AI have had a massive buff. So they're a little less stupid. Their obstacle avoidance and base movement component and all this other stuff is just amazing. Waypoints, you can order them to an area and get out now. So they'll pull up and just all dive out. Change some bits, fixed a load of more bits and tweaked. Added a load of stuff to your back end. Might want to get that checked out. A lot of stuff for the modding as well. Added um, a load of things in there, which I won't understand. So, like, there's a load of stuff in mod in there, which is actually insane. They're usually just like a little paragraph at the bottom of these updates. So, they've been working on this a while, which is good. Look at this, the Game Master. All right, ability for GM and tutorial to enable slash disable the vehicle decommission action. Get out waypoint. GM saves tabs is hidden in scenarios. The Game Master can now enable and disable team kill punishment. We get a little bit of messing around in our spawns when we're doing operations. So that is a really good feature there. Fix GM cycle waypoints was not working. Just a load of fixes there for GM. Uh, workbench stuff, a lot of audio. Look at this. Added three melee voice variations for Russian voices. Found in volumes. Sound for impact effects. Sound effects changed. Fixed a load of stuff. Tweaked a load more stuff. And here is the good stuff, the content they've added. So suppressors. Doesn't look like they've added mortars in. We'll have a look. But um, there was two items left on the roadmap. So we've done one. This is two. Mortars and suppressors. So we haven't got mortars yet, but suppressors, bump. So we have one item left on roadmap two. And then there's only this left, boys and girls, which is pretty insane. So we should be getting like new vehicles and stuff next major update. All right, base game suppressors. Suppressors can be attached and detached from AK and M16. AI gunshots. Hearing is reduced for gunshots with suppressors. How cool is that? Using suppressors will actually affect the AI. They've set up uh, particles for suppressors and muzzle devices. Muzzle attachments to faction arsenals. Uh, decreased the AK-74 recoil by 10%. It was probably just set to normal AK stuff. And obviously the 74 is a bit more compact. They have tweaked the grass rendering, weapon stats manager, one projectile types, added ballistic tables for new bullet types, 545 by 39 7UI, and the, the other ammo configurations. Uh, refactored terminal ballistics. So, so armor piercing rounds, normal rounds, bullet drag, drop, everything like that. Um, ballistics for weapons, which is actually massive and pretty cool. So they've changed, fixed, and tweaked a lot of that stuff. Flashlight colors. Woo woo. But you can have this going down the spawn. Destructible vehicle lights. That's where a cop says lights and some registration. You got to tell that out. And then hits you like with a stick. Uh, over encumbrance. Hurt legs now cause harder landing animations to play after falling. Added over encumbrance now has a large impact on movement speed. Let's go in, test out the suppressors, flash a flashlight, smash a car light up, and fill a backpack up and see. And jump off a wall and see if our legs fall off. 
Oh, they've also added join queue as well, which is massive for conflict. So let everything load. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so if there's a full conflict you want to get in, you'll be added to a queue system. Sweet. US, Russia, FIA. You're going to need a couple of cars to smash up. Okay, here we go. I said something about melee noises. Uh, 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 okay. So these are the suppressors. You get camouflaged, olive, uh, and just normal one. And you've got a flash hider as well. Let's grab all of them. Massive backpack because we need to over encumber ourselves. Oh, these are even more, significantly more powerful as well. So we'll put one of them down and see. We're going to uh, have a... Oh, will use the AK-74 for you. PBS suppressor, flash hider, and a muzzle brake. Uh, the flashlight, while inspecting, you should be able to change colour. Oh, is that red? Damn. Okay, I guess it's like a, a low light sort of situation. You still sort of see, but it's a bit more stealth, so... Yeah. Red torches. Damn, that's going to be quite good, though. That looks kind of spooky. Bang flash, daytime again. Right, let's have a look what we've picked up. Boop, doop, boop, doop. Now, can we suppress with the bayonet and stuff on? Oh, we've got our oh, muzzle brake. Uh, flash hider. Ah, and it took the bayonet off as well. Oh, suppressor. Knife. Okay. Well, that's the camouflage one. This is the black one. Okay. Are you ready? That sounds bloody nice. Alright, that's nice. Let's, uh, what we got in there? Flash hider. The PBS on. Yep, yeah, fits on the 7 for you. Suppressors now. So that looks real cool. Here we go. A few single. Definitely bigger round, a lot more louder. That's cool though. So added the actual like joining cues, suppressors, and then you got all your projectile types as well. Ah, over encumbrance, right. That's my full walk, like full forward, and that's my full sprint. Right, landmines, squadoosh. Significantly more powerful, they said. Let's find out. <laughs> That's me sprinting to cover because I've got a gazillion things in my backpack. Don't know if that'll make me live, we'll find out. And apparently, AI is smarter. Let's see if we can get this team move over here. There they go, starting the car. <laughs> Holy shit. So, the vehicle is 43% done. That dude went absolutely flying. That was two together. Oh, <laughs> they just missed that. Okay. God damn, honestly. Damn, that just missed me too. Let's do the twist again. Da, 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 da. Right, he's having a great time. Dead. Dead. It did kill them all. That Jeep is pretty strong. Well, there you go. That's that. I'm still alive. Uh, I'm not alive anymore. Alright, let's get the knife on. I don't know if busted. So it says the vehicle lights are now destructible. Does it mean that? They said push is significantly better. OK, 
Okay, I'm actually pushing that. <laughs> oh no, my vehicle. Bosh! Loads better. Okay. Yeah, really. Suppressors, ballistics, over encumbrance. Uh, let me see what other weapons we got. My god, we just suppressed the saw. Where did that suppressor go? It's on, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> this needs a little fix, boys. If you're watching over at Bohemia, the suppressor on the saw goes on, but it attaches under there, which uh, doesn't suppress the weapon. But also, yeah, that shouldn't do that. But take that off, M16 carbine, put that on. This is the fully auto one. I like it. Sounds good. And also AI going to be uh, a little less aware of that. Um, and it does say they've improved as well in battle and things like that. But I'll have to wait to wear in the comments. If there's anything I've missed, guys, um, yeah, slap it in the comments. But there wasn't a lot of content added, but a hell of a lot of fixes. So let me know if the game is performing better for you, um, if you've noticed it. And uh, stay tuned for more Armour Reforger videos two a week. Monday and Friday are my Reforger op videos. And then we do the updates whenever they're available. Join the Discord link below if you want to join on the operations. And apart from that, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.